Good morning, Fern Valley Farmers, and welcome to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel. We're on this channel, we're pure country now. Uh, country living, country lifestyles, recipes, farm stuff, animal stuff, uh, horse related stuff, a little bit of everything, but it's all country. Anyways, I want to share this little tip today on frozen water hydrants. A lot of people think that their hydrants freeze in the winter. They really don't, and if they do freeze, there's a problem because these hydrants, there's different styles of these hydrants, but what happens is when you lift the handle, when you lift this up and the water comes out, there's a little rod right here and there's an adjustment button, there's an adjustment screw right here. When you shut this off, it goes all the way down, that rod goes all the way down about four feet down. Depends how long your hydrant is. There's different lengths of these hydrants. Depends how long your hydrant is. This one's down about four feet. There's a shutoff valve at the bottom. And what happens is when that rod right here gets pushed all the way down, it shuts off at the bottom and there's a drain, there's like a drain and the water drains out the side of it, which takes all the water out of this pipe. If your hydrant is freezing in the winter, something's wrong down there, which means you got to dig it up and fix it because this should, there should be no water at all in this pipe. If there's water in here, that means that drain at the bottom is not draining. So you got to fix that. And it never seems to fail. It's always the middle of winter when this stuff breaks. So there's ways to prevent that. Um, one way that I found, I'll see people, I go to a lot of barns, a lot of, I go to a lot of barns, a lot of farms, and I'll see people take and they'll insulate these pipes, they'll wrap them with heat tape. You don't have to, because as long as this is working properly, there's nothing in this pipe. This is empty. If there's water in here, like I said, it's broke and you gotta fix it. But what does happen is, like I said, I just turned this on now, and this is an old hydrant. I'm actually gonna replace this. I was going to do it this fall, and I just never got around to it. You dig it out by hand, it takes a while, but you can, you can dig these out by hand. If you bring a machine in here, then you, got, then you wind up tearing up all your ground, and it makes it quicker, but you can dig it by hand, do a little bit of digging each day or whatever. When you feel ambitious, dig it out, replace it. I'll do a video on that when I actually get to doing that. Um, but what happens is, like I said, I just turned this on, and this one's an old one, so it leaks around the top here a little bit. When it's really cold, it freezes. And all you got to do is you take your torch, and obviously this one's not frozen now because I just opened it. You take your torch, you get yourself a, you put your torch on here, you heat that for about 10 seconds, and if this was frozen, that's all it takes, and it's done. Here comes the water. So if this was frozen, this actually would have been unfrozen within 10 seconds. You just go to, you go to Menards, any farm stores, any hardware store, just buy these little propane torches, you buy these nice nozzles. You open, you open it up here, you, there's a little uh, igniter in here, you push the button, you open it, that's all there is to it. When you're done, shut it off. It takes you two minutes. I leave this one sitting here by this hydrant. I've got a newer hydrant at the other end of the barn. That one I don't have to do that to because it, it doesn't get any water hung up up here. But sometimes I do. When it's really, really cold, I'll, I'll put the heat to it because here's the reason why. If this is frozen and you're cranking and cranking and pulling, you could actually lift this thing up. It'll break loose. But what happens sometimes is when it breaks loose, you'll pull this rod out of adjustment. So if you, uh, if you muscle this thing up and, and loosen that, what might happen is that screw might come out of adjustment on this rod. So when you open this, it's already set for right here. When you go to shut that, because you've pulled this out of adjustment, it won't shut off at the bottom. Here comes your water. Now it's 10 degrees out, 20 below zero, whatever. This is when it always seems to happen. Now you've got water that you can't stop running. What you got to do is you got to loosen this up, lift the handle, retighten this and set it down, and hopefully you'll get the water to stop. So don't lift these things up when they're frozen. You could pull these out of adjustment. Go out and spend $15, whatever these things cost. These bottles are so cheap. They're like refills on these bottles are cheap. I forget what they are. You buy the good head, two seconds, boom, you're done. So that's my little tip. So don't crank this thing up when it's frozen. You can. Nothing might happen, but it might. And like I said, it never fails. It could be 10, it'll be probably 10, 15 below zero. You'll go to lift that thing up, shut it off, and the water keeps coming because you've pulled this out of adjustment. So really simple. That's my, that's my little quick tip for this. I keep one of these right here in the barn, right on the ground. I come in here in the morning, boom, turn it on, water's done. So anyways, hopefully you learned something. If you got any questions, please ask. Um, subscribe to the channel, support the channel. A lot more stuff like this coming. So hopefully you enjoyed this little tip. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.